Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Summers Bison. Welcome back to our channel, Raising the American Bison, the coolest animal in North America, the largest animal in North America. Today I'm gonna to do something that really benefited us last year and it paid off this year. So today I'm going to put my big bulk feeder out to my Dunbar herd, my larger herd. So what we did was, is last year I put out a feeder right at the beginning of june a bulk feeder and, and what it is it's our blend mix it's called a dnh bull blend it's a mixture of, of different feeds that we've always fed our bison and it's just a blend of, of good grain it's got soy it's got corn in it wheat mids it's got a lot of stuff in it we put it out last year at the beginning of june and and the reason i did this was i wanted to be able to what i call push my herd so i wanted to be able to push the females and, and when i say push what it means is when they when they eat uh that grain it gives them a little bit of boost it's not high energy corn is high energy but the whole thing's not a high energy food food source it's a basically a supplement feed uh, and we just like to keep our animals healthy you know we feed them during the winter for sure because there's not as much grass we also feed them hay but right now we still we're still in in the spring stages it's rained here so much and it hasn't got very warm we haven't even got our summer grasses yet so as you can see here i put out a bale of hay just for these guys just for the yearlings here because we still haven't got our summer grasses yet because it hasn't heated up enough here but just wait it'll heat up i promise here in oklahoma it'll get hot and then we'll be praying for that rain but putting that feeder out helped us and what it did is it pushed those heifers that made them feel healthy and it kind of got them in their cycles a little bit earlier and the reason i want to do that is because i want the females my adult females the mamas the cows to have calves earlier in the season i don't want them to have babies in june and july my first two years we had babies in june and july and it gets really hot like all the way to july 14th and that's late I, I don't want it to be them so last year we put the feeder out uh for about i don't know two months maybe now that we've had most of our babies we still have two red dogs left we can put it out for the big herd and so that the big herd can get this they can start eating and what they do is those mamas will cycle yes they cycle not long after they have a baby I mean within a couple of months those mamas are cycling and it's breeding season and yes they they go through uh, the cycle stage when they're carrying a calf that's just part of the bison world and uh, most of the time bison have their babies anywhere from April and May and and can be in June we want ours to have early so that we can avoid the heat um, and so far it's paid off because we've had almost we've had six in may and that's the first time that's happened may 5th was the earliest it's just like cattle they're a little bit different and if you got your bulls out there with your mama cows all the time you, you may end up having calves in the winter and then if you think about the winter we just had the arctic blast that we had here in the south it did a lot of damage it, it and it hurt a lot of animals and it killed a lot of calves and when i'm saying calves i'm talking cattle bovines because of that extreme weather now i know it don't always get that cold think about having those calves in the winter and i know guys in the north have to deal with those conditions you don't have to worry about that with bison because bison are typically born in the spring so i'm going to hop in the tractor i'm going to lift this feeder up out of the bullpen and we're going to move it down with the big herd
beast. <laughs> no chats today? All right. We're way down there. I don't even know what's coming. The good stuff. You guys can't see them, but they're way down there on the farthest point of the property. Laying out in the shade. It's pretty. They're chilling. This is their uh, chill time of the day. Kind of about that 9 o'clock time. Starts to warm up like it is. But got this down here. This sucker is heavy. It is heavy. All the weight is coming to the front end because I've opened the backs. But now I'm going to open these up. And because I've got a lot more animals down here. I need it to be a little more accessible to all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up just a little bit so it can creep out and everybody's got room to grab some feed. So I had the back end of this open for the situation that I had going on inside that pen where the bulls were. But now the front is very heavy. It's leaning a little bit forward and it's so heavy. It's weighted down my 2500 truck and I can't even get the hitch in. I don't have enough room. So we're gonna have to let them eat it down and maybe get the tractor to lift the front of it up so we can actually move it. Um, or maybe not. It may just hook up like that. It'll get balanced out after a while after they come and eat on it, but I think this has seen better days. The pin. Drop pin. Yikes. Well, I figured the herd would come up, but they're, uh, they're not coming. So, let's go down and check them and make sure we don't have any more babies. By the way, a lot of you have been asking about some of my leather patch hats. I ran out of stock a while back and um, I'm getting some new ones made. So here you go. Pretty soon I'll announce it and I'll let you know. I've got a lot of new hats coming in, some new styles. But this one specifically, leather patch hat um, with the gray look. It's one of my favorites. It'll be back in stock here pretty soon, guys. I'll keep you updated. Since I'm down here, I've got the feed bunk over here, kind of up on a hill where they won't make too much of a mess. But I just wanted to show you. Got our water system right here, it's doing great. Got a little bit of grass in it, but it is cold water. I love that. Well water from the Arbuckle Simpson Aquifer that we have here in this region. There's still a bunch of water here left in this old terrace from all the rain we've had. You can see the, the footprints and where the water is holding, but right here, this is doing good. No standing water right here. Got that one inch rock set, it's perfect water's doing good and what i like about that valve that job valve or joby valve i'm not sure how to say it but that's the brand of it what i like about it, it's yellow and you can see it like if i want to check it and make sure that the water's still up all i gotta do is look down in the pasture and if i see that bobbing up out of the water like a bobber then uh i know it's still there and if i don't see it we've got a problem Isn't that just a great sound? Nature out here, nobody around. Just me and the herd. Well, they're not in the mood to have fun right now. I know you guys are like, come on, I wanna see the bison. Well, there they are. I'm seeing some red dogs, but I doubt I have any new ones. Um, I think she's got a little ways to go. Um, I'm not seeing many signs from her yet. From Dakota, she's the last one in the Dunbar herd to have a baby. They seem to be doing good. Not gonna bother them, they're hanging out in the shade. This is their nap time of the day. They'll graze early in the mornings and then they'll come up for a midday lunch snack, maybe get some water. They'll go back to resting and then they come out in the evening and graze again. So um, kind of like deer. But this is a product of putting this feed out for them, just some supplement feed. They're still gonna graze. I mean, look at all this grass. Those summer grasses, as it starts to heat up, will start coming through. 
these guys will be on it so they've got they've got the natural grass that is here and then they have some grain to try to push those females like i explained and what will happen is we hope again next year at this time we have a bunch of babies in may that's the earliest we've ever had babies and i think it's because of this right here because of that feed bunk that we're using so and i wouldn't be surprised if the calves actually eat some of that feed and that's good to for them it's fine they're still nursing on mom obviously and we'll keep doing that for several months but if they want to eat some feed that's okay someday they'll have that feed so it's a good way for them to get started and get some other food in their diet well hopefully next year this pays off again it's just nice that you've tried a new technique and it's actually worked and it's right here with those uh, five red dogs here and then kits up with the big joe herd thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned with cross timbers bison you can go on to crosstimbersbison.com and I'll keep you updated on the hats. Got our shirts on there, Pioneer, the Plains logo. Thank you for watching.